Hey friends, it's Don, and today I want to show you how to answer one of the most important yet very common interview questions you might hear in a job interview, and that is what are your strengths? It also might come in the form of what are your greatest strengths? And knowing how to answer this question could really help you get the job you want. Now, I've also made a few other videos on the same exact question, and if you peruse my channel, you'll probably run into those. This video is just another method that you know, it may or may not work better for you. So let's jump right in. Now, there's three steps to answering this question, and these will help you to build a framework around your answer. And if you can't fit your answer inside of this framework, then it's probably not a good answer. So the first thing you wanna do is choose three of your best strengths. But don't say things like, I'm a go-getter, or I'm hardworking, or I'm a professional, because those don't quantify your strengths. The next thing you wanna do is choose your strengths wisely so they're unique, and this will make you stand out from everyone else who's competing for the same job that you are. Now, I would also suggest looking through the job description to see what strengths are the most important to this employer, and then align your strengths with their needs. And lastly, you wanna back up your answer because well, talk is cheap. So you wanna tell a short story about how you used that strength in a past job or a project, and then why these are your strengths. So let me give you a few ideas of some strengths you might consider using. Now, number one is resourceful, and it's a great strength. You could really talk about how you were resourceful in your last job and then give a little example of, you know, how you were you know, able to pull things together and, you know, really stretch dollars and make them go farther, or whatever it is. Talk about how you were resourceful in your role. Another one is creativity. So if you're in a role that allows you to be creative, maybe like a design role or something like that, you could talk about your creative side. Another one of my favorites is a fast learner. I'm a great person who can just look at something and pick it up very quickly. It almost doesn't matter what it is. So if that's one of your traits or a skill or a quality of yours, you might consider using that. Another one is detail oriented. Now this works well if you're good with numbers or you're in finance and you really just have that attention to detail and you can see those things. So it's another good one to consider. Another one of my favorites is being flexible because so many people today are just rigid in what they do. I like to consider myself flexible, meaning that you know I can, I'm willing to listen to other people's opinions. I'm willing to try things different ways, and I'm not so bent on you know just having it my way. Another one of my favorites is passion, and anything that I do. I am passionate about it. If I'm not doing it, I'm not passionate about it. So I really like to share that as one of my strengths, meaning that if I'm involved in it, um, I'm gonna be all in. And then the last one is loyalty. Um, and loyalty can really play a role in certain companies. And you know, you might wanna be loyal to your team, loyal to your company, loyal to the product development team, loyal to your products, whatever it is. If you have some stories about you know, how you were loyal in your past jobs, that would be considered you know, sharing one of your strengths. Now, I, you may not see loyalty show up in a job description. So if you're looking, reading, like I told you earlier, to look through the job description to see what their needs are and what kind of strengths they're looking for, you're probably not gonna see loyalty on there. That would be, I think that'd be kind of odd if you did, but it's a good one to share if that fits you. So now if it were me and I were asked this question in a job interview, this is what I would say. I'd say one of my greatest strengths is being resourceful. In my last job, I was able to find clever solutions to our marketing problems in ways that others might not have considered. I'm also a fast learner, which means I can quickly adapt to new situations and acquire new skills with ease. This ability allows me to stay up to date with the latest developments in digital marketing and to quickly become proficient in those areas. And finally, I'm truly passionate about my work. I love what I do, and I'm always eager to learn more and improve. And this passion drives me to my best in every project I undertake and ensures that I stay motivated and committed to achieving success. And there you have it, my friend. With these tips and examples, you're gonna be ready to impress 
anyone in a job interview and you're going to walk away with the offer. Now, to help you go a little bit farther, to help you get a little bit more prepared for your interview, head on over to jobinterviewtools.com and I want to give you my checklist. This is the interview, it should be the ultimate interview checklist here. It's, it's so cool because it gives you all the things that you need to do to prepare for your interview. And it tells you, you know, job search, resume writing, preparing for phone interviews, um, competency interviews, and a whole sidebar here of notes. On the back, it tells you specifically interview strategies, questions that you want to prepare for, and you know, what are your strengths is one of them and it walks you through just everything. And it's, it's just a great way to jog your memory about all the things that you need to do. Because if you have an interview coming up, I have to figure your head is just spinning with all the things that you need to do and plan for, and you don't wanna miss any of those. So this is my gift to you. Just for being here with me today, I wanna to share this with you. You can get this from jobbitybtools.com slash checklist, put in your name, email address, tell me where to send it and I will get it out to you right now. And that's really all I have for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. And if you wanna get notified every time I release a new video, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.